Good day, grade 6. We are now in quarter 4, week 5, Mathematics 6. Before I proceed to our lesson, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon for more mathematics video. Solving routine and non-routine problems involving electric and water consumption. How are we going to read electric meters? To read the electric meters, always read all the dials from right to left, starting from dial E to dial A. Read the numbers by the pointer of the dial. When the pointer is between two numbers, the lower number is recorded. As you can see in this figure, so dial A to dial E is we have clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, and clockwise. So we have 98,940. So how do we get it? So first, it started with letter E. So the dial is from left to right. So before, if the pointer is passed to the zero, it this will be zero uh, from left to right. And we have number four because the dial is from right to left so it turns to four so the answer is four and we reach the next dial we have nine it started from nine to zero and eight of course because the dial is from right to left so the first number you got is eight so eight is the uh, answer and we're moved to number nine so it is clockwise so the first number before the zero is nine so the answer is 98,940 kilowatt per hour the pointer appears to be exactly on a number check the dial to the right and find out the correct reading if the dial on the right has passed zero, then use the number pointer is pointing on the dial you are reading. If the dial has not passed zero, then make use of the smaller number on the dial you are reading. As you can see in this figure, the answer is 23,825. We have in dial 1, 5. In dial number 2, 2. Dial number 3 is 8. Dial number 4 is 3. Not yet reached the 4. And in dial number 5, the answer is 2. So, the answer is 23,825 kilowatt per hour. In an electromechanical meter, you will notice that there are five dials and inside each is a pointer which indicates the number to be read. The pointers will alternately turn clockwise and counterclockwise. These dials measure the number of kilowatt per hour you use in this figure. We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Read and interpret the dials on the meter below. So what is your answer? Correct. Your answer is 24,128. So the meter reading is 24,128 kilowatt per hour. Today, 
most household use a water meter with odometer to measure the amount of water consumption. See the picture. Reading a water meter. The older style of water meters is those with small dials. It looks like a series of small clocks that turn clockwise. The unit we use for this measurement is cubic meters. The rules of reading a water meter with dials are like the way an electric meter is being read. Reading a water meter. The older style of water meters is those with small dials. It looks like a series of small clocks that turn clockwise. The unit we use for this measurement is cubic meters. The rules of reading a water meter with dials are like the way an electric meter is being read. To get the exact meter reading, start from right to left or the highest number dial clockwise. So, the water meter shows 3,518 meter cube or cubic meter. So, we're going to start from right. So, we have 3, 5, 1, and 8. So, if we are going to read from right to left, this will be 3,518 cubic meter. In problem solving, Jose made a record of their three-month electric consumptions. The initial reading is 973 kWh. In January, 1,120. February, 1,353. In March, 1,512. Assume that the basic charge of the first 30 kilowatt hour is 120 pesos and the succeeding kilowatt hour is charged 6 pesos. To get the amount that Jose will pay for each month, subtract the initial reading from first month's reading from the current month's reading. Then to get the amount Jose will pay for, subtract 30 kilowatt hour from the monthly kilowatt consumption. Then multiply the result by 6 pesos. Afterwards, add the amount for the first 30 kilowatt hour, which is 120 pesos. To get the average monthly consumption, Get the total consumption for 3 months, then divide it by 3. So, how are we going to solve? Sh to show the computation, to get every month's electric consumption, in January, 1,120 minus 973 is equals to 147 kilowatt per hour. In February, we're going to subtract in 1,353 to 1,120 1, is equals to 232 kWh per hour. In March, 1,512 minus 1,353 is equals to 159 kWh per hour. Now, to get the amount for each monthly consumption with the conditions that the first 30 kilowatt hour is 120 pesos and 6 pesos per remaining kilowatt hour, that is January. With 147 kilowatt per hour, with a total of 120 plus 147 minus 30, times 6. So 120 plus 147 minus 30 times 6 or equals to 120 plus 117 times 6. The answer is 702. So 702 plus 120, the answer is 822 pesos. So for January, we will pay 822 pesos. For February, 
232 kilowatt per hour to 120 plus 232 minus 30 times 6. So 120 plus 232 minus 30 times 6 is equals to 120 plus 202 times 6. So 202 times 6 is 1,212 plus 120. The answer is 1,332 uh, 1, pesos. So for February, he will pay 1,332 pesos. In March, 159 kilowatt per hour. We're going to minus in 30 times 6. Okay, so 120 plus 159 minus 30 times 6 is equals to 120 plus 129 times 6 is 774 plus 120 is 800. 194 pesos. So, for February, he will pay 894 pesos. In letter A, the amount with the highest or most electricity consumption was February with 232 kilowatt per hour consumption. They consume the least amount of electricity on the month of January with 147 kilowatt per hour. The consumption below shows the average monthly consumption. Average monthly consumption is equals to 147 plus 232 plus 159 is equals to 538 divided by 3 or 3 months so the answer is 179.33. Math challenge! So guys, are you ready for the math challenge? In a certain school, the reading for the month of June in the electric dials was 87,240. If the month May was 85,569. What was the amount of electricity consumed for the given period? Bye guys! Thank you for watching. This is Sir Benson, Lives You a Thought. Keep on study and your life will be happy. Please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more mathematics videos. Bye-bye! See you next week!